Hi! Using Shell Code Pack, I will demonstrate you today how to generate a Windows screensaver payload, or .scr file, with a fake PDF icon and extension. This was successfully used not that long ago in an attack that targeted the Linus Media Group, known for their channel Linus Tech Tips. My aim will be to establish a connection between Sliver and my target machine by sending a stager inside of a fake PDF file. My target machine will be a Windows 11 system with Windows Defender running. Here are the Sliver commands I used in order to set up Sliver. You can find explanations about them down in the description. Let's now generate the payload using Shell Code Pack. For this test, I will generate a 64-bit payload, but you may generate a 32-bit one if you prefer. I will start by providing the shell code generated by my sliver generate command as an input file. And I will indicate that I want the payload to be a .scr or screensaver file, which is really just an exe file anyway. For the name of the payload, I will write up some credible name you will expect a PDF to have. Shell code pack also conveniently allows me to generate my payload inside of a zip file, so I will also use that. Let's move to the second screen to fine tune the payload. Some options are already enabled by default. They help avoid detection by antiviruses and will be important in making Windows Defender unaware of what is going on. You can freely change these options depending on your payload and if it gets detected. I would like my payload to display a fake error message when being launched so as to raise less suspicion as to why no PDF file is being opened. So I will scroll to the option Message to display and I will write some fake error message. Finally, let's scroll down to the social engineering options. I can here, among other things, indicate which icon to use, which fake extension to display, or what size I would like the file to have. I will set my payload to display a PDF extension and I will also provide a PDF icon. Now I will generate my payload, which I will here send to my target using shared folders. Now on my target machine, let's extract the zip file. As you can see, it is strictly impossible from this view to figure out that this is in fact not a PDF file. So let's have a look at the file properties. First, we can see that it is indeed a screensaver file. The file name looks correct here and here, but we can get a hint that something isn't quite right with this file by looking closely at the file name at the top of the properties window. Let's run this PDF file and see what happens. After a few seconds, Sliver has detected a new session, showing that our payload worked. We now have full access to the target machine. Thank you for watching this short demo. You can check the description for explanations and informations about Sliver, the commands we used and where to obtain it. You can also visit buddieskit.com if you are considering obtaining shell code pack, and you can follow our Twitter and LinkedIn for news and updates about what we do.